All right, folks, got an unboxing video. Steel body uh, bench. This has wheels on it, so it'll roll around. This is just the unboxing video. And I uh, got this 109 on Amazon. Uh, usually a bit more than that. I really wanted their incline bench, but you know, this price I couldn't turn down. I have a commercial Sidebex bench and you know, did I really need this? Uh, yes and no. That thing is like super, super hard. Uh, and lighter, way lighter than this thing. I believe there'll be some benefit for me to having this bench um, for certain exercises. Uh, what would that be? Well, hip thrusters. Uh, where the lighter bench has a tendency to get knocked over. This one's a little more cushioned. The only thing I noticed after the fact was it might be a bit higher off the ground. Uh, that might be a negative. Um, I also thought, well, God, for bench press, this might be nicer uh, for that aspect. You know, seeing as this is made in China, um, and there's a lot of there's actually a lot of American companies that would appear to be giving off the facade that they're building these themselves, manufacturing them, uh, when it's basically, this, you know, whatever company did this. Um, so I said, oh, 109. I could spend 209 and get the same bench, have somebody else's name on it. And the reality is it isn't made in the U.S. It's in China. Uh, now, you can tell by this thing that it is going to be super soft. I might be able to take a nap on that. Of course, that's a steel body uh, for the one camera that is uh, reversed that we have. But uh, it makes a nice little mat for one to actually just uh, take a nap on it. Uh, now, of course, we've got instruction manual, and I will assemble this in a separate video. Um, instructions and some other garbage. It says something about Marcy. Thank you for supporting Marcy. Don't tell me this is made by Marcy. Um, I hope this is higher end, because most of their stuff is junk. All right, so you've got a parts list in here, folks. Uh, more parts list, hardware, and then a uh, simple installation shot. Uh, this other guide gives you safety notice stuff and another um, a, a different view of the parts list. Of course, I'm looking at it upside down. So check that out in the next video. All right, we've got our hardware which is uh, plastic wrapped here, and then now it's, it's like plastic sealed here. Um, looks like decent hardware. That's spectacular. Uh, one of the plates that you're gonna use, support bracket of some kind, or support plate. Probably to strengthen up a joint somewhere. One of the uh, base legs, whatever you want to refer to this as. Um, wheels don't look like anything special. Um, now that I get this close to me, folks, it is it's a pretty thin walled. Um, not as thick as the Cybex commercial, which could be almost twice the thickness, but... The welding looks pretty uh, shoddy for those that have worked in manufacturing. Um, if you can get a close-up of that, I'll show you that. That's pretty shitty looking welding, folks. Now, will it matter for this? Probably not. Um, unless this is welded on the inside, there is no weld seam there. That's a little rough. You could, on this spot, folks, 
Um, not on this side, but on this side. Wow, that's some really shitty manufacturing. So there's a good chance this is not going to sit on a flat floor very well. Um, yeah. I, I would hate to have to take this back. If there's any serious problems, we won't hesitate. I like, uh, I like my money, all right? I don't want to buy cheap junk, but God, the quality of this online looks so good. Look at this. More shitty welding. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is pathetic. Now, have I ever worked as a welder? No, but I have actually uh, master science industrial engineering and have worked as a manufacturing engineer. So, when I tell you that, that's some shitty welding. That is some shitty welding. All right. You will have plenty of people on here that think they are qualified to tell you about this equipment. And yours truly probably is the most qualified. Having put man into space, um, and that's no joke. So, I also have a bachelor's in mechanical engineering to design rockets rocket components you would have something up there at the space station folks so take that china i don't even think you guys are allowed on the space station all right so um this is the uh this thing's pretty solid folks i mean you know except for the shit welds like this is welded here this is not welded on the outside so it looks like it looks really shitty um, you know, look at that. Like, you know, do you need this weld? You know, you could deform things by welding all the way around, but look at how dumb this looks with this big gap. I may, I honestly may just send this back. Um, I am that disappointed with it. Now, if I had a welding, welder's kit, um, I, I would be tempted to weld that and then repaint it just to make it look better. But, uh, yeah, so there's that, folks. Uh, we will, like I said, assemble it. It's got a total of four, ten, ten bolts. Should go together pretty simple when it's when we actually make the video. Um, now, beyond the fact that the quality sucks... Uh, this top part of the bench looks real nice. I believe it may be wider than what you want for a professional bench press competition. The bench may be higher off the ground than a professional bench press competition. But throw that out, folks, and this is a nice bench. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.